be further back in time, good. It's going to save us a lot of money. What we're talking about here, folks, is the difference between 2.2 and 2.5 million and maybe a million. And then you have to ask yourself a question of what benefit is it to the county? Who benefits? Well, we get some maintenance area, good. We get a laundry, good. At what cost? When is a viable alternative to it? To get to, to uh, Representative Merrill's question about the potential for renting the additional 10,000 square foot out there, I, I'm not really moved by that. I, I think the county has an obligation to the taxpayers to fund what it minimally needs to fund to provide its services, not to get into the commercial real estate business for what tenants might, emphasis on might, at a future date and time be able to rent this space. Then the question becomes, we have to renovate it, and do you really believe county government can make money on, on the commercial real estate side? I doubt it. I don't think that's a reason to go forward with this project. You know, Again, I hope we vote this motion down. I hope you let this subcommittee do its work. And think about what a million, a million and a quarter Perhaps even more, we're talking conservative estimates now by our engineering friends. Costs tend to rise, not to decrease. We should be in no rush to do this. Thank you. Yes, Commissioner so um, Solomon and then Representative Merrill. Just a small point of order. In 2008, May 19, 2008, a feasibility study on what to do about the old nurse what to do with the old nursing home, was uh, sponsored by the delegation. One of the things it says at the bottom, page 10, not the bottom, but this is page 10 of a multi-pages. Existing nursing, uh, existing building reuse. While the focus of this study is the future of Mountain View Nursing Home, consideration has to be given to the reuse of the bu existing building if a replacement facility becomes a feasible approach. It is certainly possible that space could be rented or provided for other county agencies or related organizations. So back in 2008, it was already <coughs> begun to talk about what to do with the old building. And at that point, nothing was said about raising it at all. Okay, Representative I Merrill. picked a key word there, Commissioner, is feasible. Thank you. Representative Merrill. I, I think that the comments I'm hearing tend to prove my point that we're not ready to do anything with this thing. There's so many unanswered questions, and I don't think that the subcommittee is going to be able to do it within a very short period of time. And I'm not sure how you define mothballing. If you want to leave it the way it is, that's fine. But I, I don't think we should make a decision on that until we get the answers to all of these questions. And if we wait until fall to do it, Certainly during that time period that the subcommittee or anybody else could be working on it and come up with a good answer So I, I think all of these to me all the comments that everybody's been making has basically been proving proven my point and the, the, the Cost that the representative McCarthy keeps talking about uh, He's got a valid point But the point is we've already signed the contract. So we're going to spend that money anyway, so let's not just throw it away So anyway, let's Basically all I did. Okay, Representative McCarthy. <coughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I would just like to make mention that relative to what was done in 2008, it's a, a legal truism that any decision by a legislative body is not binding on the next legislative body. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner uh, Kenny and then McConkie. Yes, still today it is unclear how many grants we get. I uh, hear we get two grants. I asked for the paperwork. I get two of the same. So I don't know if the Department of Energy is granted two grants of $200,000. Because during all the meetings I hear, if we cannot tear the old nursing home building because we spend so much money, we get a lot of money for grants for piping, first $200,000, $250,000, $400,000. When I ask for documentation, how much we get, 
I get one paperwork. For the other one, I wait a couple weeks. I got the same. And on Thursday, I emailed it. I said, I want to have a receipt, see how much money we get for the grant. And the email what I got back, we have a special fold on Monday for the hookup of the pellet boilers. And then the next meeting on Wednesday, I hear we didn't receive a penny. We just have the approval. And when we pay for it up front, we probably will get the money. So I don't know how many grants we get and from where we get a grant. Still today, it's unclear to me. And if I may say, uh, Commissioner, if it's unclear to you that I've been dealing with this for however long we've been doing the pellet stove and whatnot, why do you, isn't it, can't you assume that we too would be confused? I have uh, Representative McConkie. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. I uh, apologize to those that are sitting here that this discussion is taking almost as long as it took the commissioners to uh, correct their minutes from uh, this week's meeting. But I, I would like to say that uh, the subcommittee did not, on, on the discussion of the, uh, of the cost of the, of the pellet boiler, uh, figured that that was a separate conversation, had nothing to do with the work that the uh, subcommittee was doing at this point. So um, also the term, to use the term mothball for one year, we're, we're uh, just weeks away from the subcommittee coming to a recommendation to this to this committee subcommittees have always been given their time in the past i think to throw a term mothball and to put off anything for a year's time with the building uh, might be something that would cause us to have to have a remotion after our next meeting anyway so um, i'll just close by saying please allow the subcommittee to do its work allow the subcommittee to come back on the 6th with a recommendation. And if the good representative at that time feels that the best move is to mothball, as is his suggestion right now, then I think that would be totally appropriate at that time. Thank you. Okay, is there any further discussion? Representative Knox? <coughs> yes, I, um, I wonder if it's appropriate to have the uh, chairman of the uh, commissioners uh, perhaps reveal any other aspect of this that hasn't been brought out uh, or make a comment in general about this motion, whether that's appropriate or not. Yes. If you have any comments, Commissioner? Well, regarding uh, information that we don't have figures to, uh, I've talked with Cooperative Extension. They, those were uh, an agency that was possibility going to move into the old nursing home. Um, as you recall, it was something like $400,000 plus to renovate it for the cooperative extension. They have agreed to remove the tile, do the wiring, put in an ADA uh, bathroom, uh, and put up some walls to block off the corridors. I can't believe that's going to cost $400,000. I would think it'd be closer to two, maybe one. Um, so we don't know those figures. Um, but it could be considerably less. Uh, as far as the motion on the floor, I have no problems with mothballing it. I don't think the commissioners in general would agree with that. That's my own personal feeling. They can speak for themselves. Even one of the commissioners have anything to say? I'd just like to point out you've already, we've already spent $47,000 on this project. Yes. Taxpayer money. Yep. Yeah, I agree with mud balling at this point. Actually, it should be removed, but if they want to mud balling it for now, that's fine. Okay. I don't see any further hands. What I'll do is uh, the question in front of us is uh, if we want to put the old nursing home in mothballs to study for one year, which would be the end of 2012. If you agree with that motion, you would vote yes. If you don't agree, you would vote no. Madam Chairman, could we have a roll call on that, please? Yes, I assumed that we would do that. I have it right here. This is the roll call here, okay? Uh, Representative Babson? Yes. Representative Fleck? Yes. Representative Knox? Yes. Representative McCarthy? No. Representative McConkey? No. Representative Merrill? Yes. Representative Patton votes yes. Representative Scalia? Yes. Representative Schmidt? No. Representative Traganda? Yes. Yes.
seven to three, the motion stands to uh, put the uh, old nursing home in mothballs. And um, I want to thank everyone for their patience. And mm -hmm. now let's get Madam on. Chair, do we need to go into convention? To oh, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Need to motion to do that. Yes. Okay, move that we go into convention. Representative Fleck moves to go into second. convention. Is there a second by Representative <coughs> Merrill? All those in favor of going into convention say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Um, if I would take him. There is a motion from uh, made by Representative Marrow, seconded by Representative Babson, to uh, put the old nursing home in mothballs to study for one year, which ends up at the end of 2012. Everyone understand what we're doing? Okay. Do you want to roll call on this one? You got a question over here. Yes. Question, Representative McCarthy. Yes, I understand now that what we're saying is that the building will be put in mothballs. That means no additional work, no expenses can be used in that building, including the uh, moving the uh, pellet boiler in, inside. If it's going to be a mothball, it's going to be a mothball. Nothing Seeing can be done in the building until the end of 2012. Is that correct? Seeing as we have the contract and they're putting it in today, the, the, the pellet stove, um, unless we want to send everything back, um, what that are we going to do with it? So I would the, assume that after today, where you're putting in that, it will go into convention. I mean, it will go into um, <laughs> into mothballs. I'm sorry, Madam Chairman. Yeah. The reason for putting those pellet boilers is is to save money. Um, we're supposed to be saving, according to estimates, 42 percent on our fuel bill once those go in and they're in operations. Now, if we save 20 percent, that's a savings to the taxpayers of the county. I hope that, well, they're going in now, so I would hope that they continue to go in, get connected up, and start saving the county some dollars. Uh, that's the purpose of those pellet boilers, uh, was to save money. Now, if you don't want to save money, then uh, that's up to you people. I'm trying to save money for the taxpayers. Okay. Representative Merrill. I, after we vote on this, I, I would be willing to make a motion to let the pellet boiler installation, which we've already paid for, to go forward with nothing else. Okay. So that is absolutely clear. Representative McCarthy. Yes, it's exactly the same thing. Once we voted on on the uh, uh, putting it in mothballs, I was going to also make a motion that nothing be done, including the installation of the boilers. We've been waiting for a long time to get this done. All of a sudden, after last week, when somebody brought up the idea that maybe we might want to take it down, all of a sudden we got to get it in in a hurry because then to take it down, it's going to cost more money. Okay, Representative Fleck and then McConkie. In the earlier discussion that I had with, uh, with Commissioner Sorensen, I raised the issue of whether or not mothballing would permit the installation of the boilers, knowing that we needed to put them someplace. I did not make that part of a motion, but it was out there so that it could be considered in the ensuing uh, discussions that were taking place. So uh, I, I feel that that was uh, understood that we have those on site, they're ready to go, and we needed to put them somewhere. And that was a concern that I had that with mothballing, we could still do that, and it appears that we can. But I, I would also support uh, Representative Merrow's uh, motion if he wishes to make that. Okay, let's get through one motion at a time. Representative McConkie. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, I raised the point earlier that to use an innocuous term of mothballing, <coughs> in a motion was probably not the, the best thing to do at this point in time. And now that uh, now that the delegation has voted to mothball, now we have to spend time on what does mothballing mean. Um, I know from uh, that if a building's mothballed or a uh, ship in the harbor is mothballed, the heat is maintained and uh, improvements are not made other than what's needed for maintenance. Uh, mothballing and continuing to install um, a, a
pellet boiler um, and getting it up to operation is not what I'd consider mothballing. So I'll sit here and be entertained as we move forward and see where this goes. Okay, Representative Schmidt. I fully agree with uh, Representative McConkey on what the term mothballing means. In the case of this old nursing home, that term means nothing. The sprinkler system is there, heat's going to have to be maintained, the building's going to have to be maintained, insurance policies are going to have to be maintained. So what have we accomplished? And now we're going to have this pellet boiler installed, which really could be st stored on site for a, a period of time until we figure out the correct way. Again, we're not talking $25,000 or $50,000, we're talking about one and a quarter million dollars in terms of savings here. So the term mothballing here is, is status quo. That's what it means. Yeah. Uh, what can I say? Plus, one more point on this, really, is to my point earlier. All of a sudden, we're being forced to make a decision because it's now rushed. Oh, we put this boiler in. I can guarantee you a year from now it's going to happen here because of the dollars we've invested in it with these it's going to be status quo. It's going to be maintain it. We're going to have this big space. It's going to require a lot of renovation. And again, you get back to the taxpayers, the county, and what do they get out of it? They get to pay an additional one and a half million dollars. That's what they get out of it. I'm done. Okay, Representative Marrow, and then um, again, uh, once we get through this motion, uh, I'd be happy to put forth a motion, which I. That should include or not include the month well and what should be included. Okay. Commissioner Kenny, you have a Yeah. I don't think we're going to use those spoilers this year for the winter because the hookup or installation is approximately three <coughs> months. Do you think that the Commissioner Sorensen, do you know that it's going to be three months? Before the I talked with the person who's selling us the uh, boilers. He said it could be shortened maybe to two months. Okay. It, regardless, we're going to have to heat hot water for the nursing home. That's going to cost money. If we can save 40, 20 percent of that, it's a savings all through the summer. Okay. Any further discussion? Representative McConkey? Thank you. Um, A lot of our uh, a lot of our decisions by the past building committee and the delegation going forward are on uh, numbers, estimates, um, and taking those to be fact. Um, the estimate the estimate was on constructing a brand new building which is twice the size of the old building with heat for the same amount of money as the old building. We're already finding out that that is not the case and that this new building right now is probably going to be in the neighborhood of 20% more to heat. My, my propane that I'm spending in large amounts for my own home and other areas has not increased by that number to start out with. So while I would hope that the estimates are that we're going to have a payback that's rapid, that's less than 10 years, uh, while it is my hope that we will save money on heating hot water domestically over the course of the summer, please don't make that um, the, full, the full weight of what your decision process might be. Because if the record's clear up to this point, the estimates that we have have not been correct up to now. Okay, Commissioner uh, Sorensen. Madam Chairman, that's all the more reason to get those pellet boilers in. Uh, what he says is correct. So why don't we try to save the taxpayers some money? I don't, I don't see his point. Okay. Apparently not an awful lot of us are seeing each other's, um, seeing each other's point. We have not tried to have a discussion where we can come up with a uh, compromise so that we are more in tune with one another, but that's apparently the way that it is setting itself up to be. Representative McCarthy. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I would just ask that we hold off uh, with the pellet boiler, you know, uh, 
You say you're going to put the building in mothballs, but now you say, no, it's not going to really be mothballs. We're going to keep doing all the work that we want to do to do the things that we want to do with that building, regardless of what everybody else says. So you're not really putting it in mothballs. But I would ask that you hold off on any installation whatsoever with the biomass pellet boiler. Because tomorrow, when I'm down for the state of the state address, I am going over to the Attorney General's office and I am going to ask the Attorney General to conduct an investigation. I don't know if it'll happen, but I am going to request an investigation from the Attorney General on the biomass installation. Okay. Now, what we do, we are in convention. We have a motion on the floor. Um, Merid from Executive Session by Representative Merrill, second by Representative Babson to uh, put the old nursing home in mothballs to study for a year, which will be the end of 2012. If you are in favor of that motion, you would vote yes. If you are not in favor of that motion, you would vote no. And um, I will call the roll. Representative Babson. Yes. Uh, Representative Fleck. Yes. Representative Knox. Yes. Representative McCarthy. No. Representative McConkie? No. Representative Merrill? Yes. Representative Patton votes yes. Representative Scalia? Yes. Yes. Representative Schmidt? No. Representative Treganza? Yes. Yes. Okay, and we have four members that are absent, um, <coughs> which is uh, Algren, Chandler, Pettengill, and Umberger. So the motion um, passes seven to three. Representative McCarthy. Yes, I, uh, Madam Chair, I make a motion that uh, the word mothball means that no work other than maintenance, normal maintenance of the building can be accomplished on that building while it's in mothballs. I'll second the motion. There's a motion by Representative McCarthy, seconded by Representative Schmidt. <coughs> To define mothballs is only maintenance, no, no what, no installation. No, <laughs> no only ma uh, normal maintenance work can be performed in and around the building. This is not the It's not a money issue. Yeah. We're still in convention. Madam Chairman, do this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're in convention. We are in convention, so we're having a talk. We're not going to have to run out of executive back and forth again. So the motion is by Representative McCarthy that mothball means only normal maintenance in and around the building. With a second by Representative Schmidt. Excuse me, point of order. Yes. Is this actually something that uh, that the delegation has responsibility for? Uh, this is not a money issue now. Well, the motion is on the floor. It looks like we're going to vote for it. It will be if it's we are out of our venue. At least it is an advisory to the commissioners so they know what we mean by mothball. I, 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 yes. I have no problem with that. Let mm -hmm. me just make this one other. Talking about advisory information, three times this delegation voted to keep the core and give us a million dollars. Three times. Not another delegation, this delegation. Yes. Okay. To come up with a plan. That's a <coughs> proposal. To come up with a proposal. Mm -hmm. Okay, Representative Which McCarthy. You didn't do. <laughs> McCarthy. No, I, I'm sorry. Representative McConkey, McCarthy, and Merrill. Thank you. Uh, parliamentary question, I believe. Um, I, it's my understanding that we are in uh, <coughs> convention. We're, we're in convention. We're in convention. <coughs> Is it, is it policy and convention to take questions outside the delegation? We usually don't stay in convention long enough to talk to anybody on the outside. If the delegation wants to take uh, questions, you can tell me. Um, I'm not going to make that unilateral decision by myself. Cause the last time I did, I got chewed out for it. So um, all those that are willing to have some outside input, would you raise your hand? One, two, three, four, five. Those opposed to outside is five, is four. So that somebody didn't vote. Five. Five, five to five. So um, we won't take it. That motion fails, so we won't take any input. Okay. 
could you have five to five? We'll take no outside input, which means the commissioners don't also. Okay, Representative McCarthy. And Thank you, Madam Chair. I would just like to make a couple of comments as to what was said previously. Number one, the delegation did not say that we would give you a million dollars. The delegation said we would study a proposal not to uh, uh, go above a million dollars. Study a proposal doesn't mean we're going to give you a million dollars. Number two, if you look at the RSAs, it says that the delegation has explicit discretionary powers relative to the sale, the purchase, the, the erection, the destruction of all buildings on county property. The county delegation has that discretion, not the commissioners. Okay, Representative Merrill. Is this a good time to make an amendment to Representative McCarthy's motion? If you want to. I'd like to. You can amend. Uh, I'd like to amend his motion to say that, uh, if I get this right now, <coughs> that for the purposes of this motion, uh, mothballing shall mean allowing the installation of the boiler continuum. Wait, wait a minute. I think that what you're doing is is negating that motion. So let's yeah, you, let's you, vote. You, Representative McCarthy, can you just wait a minute, please? I think if you want to change your you're going to right change down, yeah. that. You're, so yeah. let's not let's not do the motion. I mean, let's not do the amendment. What we'll do is come back if this um, fails. We'll come back to another motion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Representative. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chairman. It's unclear to me whether the motion uh, uh, includes or excludes the installation of the boilers. Uh, okay, I will restate it, and for the intention of Representative McCarthy, that only normal maintenance in and around the building is allowed under mothballing, and that does not include the intention of Representative McCarthy, that it does not include the installation or the hookup or the getting everything from the pellet stove or wherever it is now that is being done today, that that's not allowed to be doing done, that allowed to be done. Okay, so and I'm not going to take any uh, Representative Treganser and then Schmidt. Just that um, the a little bit after 10 and I see we had the registry of deeds at 930. Uh, I just wanted to get your opinion as to how the day's schedule is, is going to proceed from this point forward because I do have an appointment at 1 o'clock. Okay. I do know a lot of us have this. I, have, I was, not, um, was not aware. However, this is the subject that the delegation can um, talk about. And if we don't get through by 1 o'clock, I'm probably going to be sitting here and screaming. So I'm hoping that we will be able to go through what we have um, quickly on the um, on the agenda, but um, carefully. So uh, if you have to leave at 1 o'clock, we will all understand that. Okay? Representative Schmidt. Again, uh, in my last comments, and I promise I will say no more, the definition of mothballing, does that also include now that the no thoughts will be given to entertaining the moving in of the county extension service to one year from now? Okay. Is, is that a yes or no? I'm going to have to sign the lease. I'm not going to. I'm not going to talk to anybody outside the delegation. Um, it is a question that we will have to talk about whether or not they. I think the del the um, extension told us that the last time I remember that they could stay in that building for five years without an increase in rent, and that was what they said uh, last time around. So. Um, at this moment in time, that's not part of mothballing. Yes, Representative Benson. As a member of the uh, uh, Extension Advisory Council, Commissioner, give you a little information. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to sign the lease. And there no, must be a dictionary, not a dictionary available. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I can't hear three voices at once. It's Represent not accurate to say that we, that we will have the same rent for five years, what we were told is we could sign for next year for the same price, or we could sign for five years for the same price. It didn't say that year two through four, if we only wanted to have three years, would remain the same. Okay. Excuse me. I did not understand that. Um, so what happens is extension can stay in the 
building that they have until the end of 2012 if you sign the lease. At least for the same price. At least for the same <coughs> price. And um, if they decide they want to go instead of a one year to go to a five year. It would 